bit of an update of what's happening with the Land Cruiser now. Another couple of modifications taking place as we speak. First of all, the Dashi rooftop tent is gone. Sold to a nice chap who put it on top of a Nissan X-Trail. It looked rather big on his little X-Trail, but it'll do the job, I'm sure. In its place, that thing. That's one of the uh, Adventure King's quickie pop-up tents. I've heard mixed reviews on them. Some people rave about them and think they're fantastic. Other people have said they've had quality issues, but the warranty backup on them is pretty good. And I reckon for the price, eh, we'll see how it goes. It could be absolutely sensational or it might be terrible. The other thing that's going on right as we speak, you'll notice the door trims off the car. These mirrors are going and in their place, we'll be going some of these extendable towing mirrors. Oh, these are really, really good. So when you're towing the horse float, which I will be doing again very shortly, we're going to an event up in the Hunter Valley in July. The uh, standard mirrors, you, know, you lose sight of the corner of the uh, horse float a little bit there, and these are just going to give it a wider berth. So that will be sensational. Uh, since we spoke last, I've put in the adjustable pan hard rods under the front of the car and set up the alignment to compensate for that. I've also got a pair of Hyperflex from Superior Engineering um, front drop arms coming for the car as well, so that ought to help with the uh, flex and suspension travel in the front. I've already got the long travel shocks in there, but I'll see if they need to be replaced with longer ones. Other than that, which is still a work in progress, and I'll keep you updated as we get going. Have a good one, guys. See ya.